Hello friends, in the last two videos, we have solved first five examples from this exercise. Now we are solving question number six. In question number six, three vectors are given to us, u bar, v bar and w bar. Using this, we have to find out uh, these two values. If you we'll observe first two values, here dot appears and here cross appears. Once dot and then cross means it is scalar triple product, means we have to find out scalar triple product of these three vectors. This is first vector, this is second vector and this is what third vector. To find out the scalar triple product, first we have to find out value of u bar plus v bar. Then we have to find out u bar cross v bar and then we have to find out v bar cross w bar using this vector. So lot of corrections are there in this example. This v bar is denoted in textbook by what? R bar, it is print mistake. Here minus is not printed, something comma is printed. Uh, so some corrections are there, even question number 2 is also not uh, printed properly in the textbook. So uh, try to understand the corrections here. So here using this we are trying to find out our required values. So three vectors are given to us. So first our required value is u bar plus w bar. So u bar plus w bar is equal to, now substitute the value of u bar that is i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap plus w bar, w bar is what, j cap minus k cap. So let us try to find out this addition, first we are collecting the terms of i cap, only one term of i cap is there, so here write down this i cap, then collect the terms of j cap minus 2j cap plus j cap is minus j cap and lastly plus k cap and minus k cap will get cancelled. Now we are finding second required value that is u bar cross v bar. So, which is equal to cross product can be find out using what determinant in the first row, write down i, j, k basic vector, then write down the coefficient of i cap, j cap, k cap from vector v, u bar, so that is 1, minus 2, 1, and then from v bar, v bar means what here, 3, term of j cap is missing, means its coefficient is 0 and coefficient of k cap is 1. So, here first we are trying to find out coefficient of i cap. So delete this first column, minus 2 minus 0 will be equals to minus 2 i cap. Then here plus j is there, so take minus j cap. So delete this column, 1 minus 3 means minus 2. Minus and this minus will become what? Plus 2. Lastly, we are trying to find out coefficient of k cap. Delete this column, 0 minus minus means plus 6. 0 plus 6 is 6. In this way, we have got our second required value. Now we are trying to find out third required value, v bar cross w bar. So v bar cross w bar is equals to, again here in the first row, write down the basic vector i cap, j cap, k cap. In the second row, write down coefficient from v bar, that is 3, 0, 1. Then write down coefficient from w bar. So here coefficients are 0, 1, minus 1. Let us simplify this determinant first try to find out coefficient of i cap. So delete this column 0 minus 1 will be minus 1. Then here plus j cap is there so take here minus j cap. Now we are trying to find out coefficient of j cap. Delete this column minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3 minus and this minus will become plus 3. Lastly let us try to find out coefficient of what k cap. So delete this column 3 minus 0 will be equals to 3. In this way we have got our uh, third required value. Now if you we'll, uh, compare these two uh, examples, here also we will require u bar cross v bar. So here also we will require u bar cross v bar. This value is already known to us, u bar cross v bar. Then v bar cross w bar is also required in both the examples. Just now we have got the value of v bar cross w bar. Only the remaining part is to find out value of what? u bar cross w bar. So lastly, we are finding the value of u bar cross w bar is equals to, again in the first row, write down the basic vector i cap, j cap, k cap. Then write down the coefficient from u bar, that is 1, minus 2, 1. And from w bar, coefficients are 0, 1, minus 1. So let us simplify this determinant. Let us see what we will get here. Coefficient of i cap is, delete this column, 2 minus 1 will be 1, not necessary 1 here plus j cap is there, so take minus j cap here, 
Now delete second column. Minus one minus zero is minus one minus and this minus will become plus one. Last you try to find out coefficient of k cap. Delete this column. One minus zero will be equals to one. So in this way, all the required values are known to us. Now we are find finding a scalar triple product of these three vectors. So write down first vector is here u bar plus w bar dot u bar cross v bar cross v bar cross w bar so which is equals to we know that scalar triple product can be find out using determinant in the first row write down coefficient from first vector where coefficient from first vector are 1 minus 1 0 then write down coefficient from second vector so coefficients from second vector are minus 2 2 6 then write down coefficient from third vector that is minus 1 3 3 so which is equals to now here what we'll get 1 1 into 6 minus 18 will be minus 12 then here minus 1 is there so we are taking here plus 1 delete this column this product is minus 6 and this minus minus will become plus 6 means here we'll get minus 6 plus 6 and lastly here 0 0 into any term is 0 so which is equals to minus 12 here we will get plus 6 minus 6 is 0 so plus 0 and plus 0 will be equals to minus 12 in this way we have got the value of uh, first scalar triple product now let us try to find out value of this box product so our second required value is box product of u bar cross v bar u bar cross w bar and v bar cross w bar so again value of box product box product means what scalar triple product can be find out using determinant so first vector is u bar cross v bar u bar cross v bar here coefficients are minus 2 2 6 then second vector is u bar cross w bar here just now we have got its coefficients are 1 1 1 and lastly v bar cross w bar v bar cross w bar here coefficients are minus 1 3 and 3 so let us simplify this determinant write down this minus 2 as it is so here we will get 3 minus 3 will be equals to 0 here plus 2 is there so take here minus 2 delete this column so this product is 3 3 minus minus means 3 plus 1 will be equals to what 4 and lastly plus 6 into plus 6 into uh, delete this column so here we will get 3 minus minus will sorry here uh, minus 2 so minus 3 sorry 3 minus minus plus 1 will be 4 well now lastly 6 into 3 minus minus means plus 1 3 plus 1 will be equals to 4 so which is equal to first term is 0 second term is minus 8 third term is what 24 and 24 minus 8 will be equals to 16 so in this way value of this box product will be equals to 16 so in this way we have solved first two examples uh, so we'll see in this example number seven uh, four vertices of a tetrahedron are given to us already we have shown here these vertices a b c d and using this we have to find out volume volume of the tetrahedron so already we have seen one formula to find out volume of tetrahedron that is 1 6 box product of a bar b bar c bar this formula is applicable to find out volume of tetrahedron if a bar b bar c bar are quarter minus edges of the tetrahedron but in this case quarter minus edges instead of a bar so which is one edge a b bar second edge is what a c bar and third edge is what a d bar means we have to apply this formula to find out volume of what this tetrahedron so a b bar can be find out as what now b bar minus a bar a c bar as c bar minus a bar and a d bar as what d bar minus a bar means to find out these values we will require a bar b bar c bar and d bar where these are nothing but position vector position vector of these four vertices so let us denote the position vector by a bar b bar c bar and d bar be the 
be the position vectors of points A, B, C and D uh, respectively. So we are supposing that these are the position vector. From the coordinate we will get the value of this position vector. A bar will be equals to minus i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. From the coordinate of point B we will get the value of B bar. B bar is equal to 3i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap. Now find out the value of c bar from coordinate of point c that is 2i plus j plus 3k. Then find out the value of d bar. So d bar will be equals to minus i minus 2j plus 4k. In this way we have got the position vector of all these four points. Once these position vectors are known to us now we are finding value of ab bar, ac bar and what? ad bar. So therefore, AB bar will be equals to, AB bar in terms of position vector can be written as what? B bar minus A bar. Already the value of B bar is also known, A bar is also known. Take their subtraction, 3i minus minus i means 4i cap. Then uh, minus 2 minus 2 will become minus 4j. And lastly, k minus 3k will become minus 2k. So in this way, we have got the value of what? Here AB bar, then find out the next required value, which is the next required value, AC bar. AC bar can be found out as what? C bar minus A bar. So take their subtraction. C bar minus A bar is equals to. Here 2i minus minus means plus i. 2i plus i will be equals to 3i. Then here J minus 2j will be minus J cap. And lastly, 3k minus 3k will be equals to plus 0k cap. In this way value we have got the value of what ac bar now we are trying to find out value of ad bar ad bar will be equals to d bar minus a bar so value of d bar is also known a bar is also known try to find out this difference minus i minus minus means plus i minus i plus i will get cancelled minus 2j minus 2j will be equals to minus 4j cap and lastly 4k minus 3k will be equals to plus k cap once the value of AB bar, AC bar and AD bar is known to us, we are able to find out our required value, volume of tetrahedron. Will be equals to 1 sixth box product of AB bar, AC bar and AD bar. So which is equal to 1 sixth, keep it, that, keep it as it is, value of box product will be equals to a determinant. What are the element of first row? Coefficients from first vector. So where coefficients are here 4 minus 4 minus 2. Then AC bar. AC bar its value is also known to us 3 minus 1 0. And lastly write down the coefficient from AD bar that is 0 minus 4 1. So which is equal to 1 6 keep it as it is. Let us simplify this determinant 4 into. Now delete this column try to find out determinant of these uh, four element minus 1 minus 0 will be equals to minus 1 here minus 4 is there that's why we are taking plus 4 delete this column 3 minus 0 will be equals to how much 3 so here minus 2 is there so write down minus 2 delete this column minus 12 minus 0 will be equals to what minus 12 so which is equal to 1 by 6 keep it as it is now remaining part is calculation part 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 4 into 3 will be equals to 12 and to minus into minus will become plus and 12 to the 24. So let us see what we will get here. So which is equal to 1 by 6 keep it as it is. Uh, now 12 minus 4 will be 8 and 8 uh, plus 24 will be equals to 32. So which is equal to both the numbers are divisible by what 2. So 2 16 za and 2 3 za. So 16 by 3 cubic unit because we are finding what volume so cubic unit 16 by 3 cubic unit will be the volume of this tetrahedron very simple formula is there box product uh, 1 6 scalar triple product of what a bar b bar c bar uh, if a bar b bar c bar are quarter minus ages but instead of a bar b bar c bar a b bar a c bar and a d bar are quarter minus ages so find out first these three values uh, first define the position vector you will get the values of position vector from the coordinate. 
Once the position vector are known to us, you are able to find out AB bar, AC bar, AD bar, substitute the value in this formula, simplify this determinant, you will get the volume of a tetrahedron.